Hey guys, welcome to the eighth part of my series previewing the 2020-21 NBA season. And today we're talking about the Denver Nuggets. So last season, the Denver Nuggets finished with a 46 and 27 record. That gave them the third seed in the Western Conference. And they had a pretty good playoff run. Um, in the first round, they were down 3-1 against the Utah Jazz, but managed to come back from that 3-1 three, three deficit on the back of a couple of amazing Jamal Murray performances. He was one of the breakout stars of the bubble. And then they also came back from 3-1 down against the Clippers, which was even more shocking as the Clippers were one of the favorites, and that was one of the best comebacks in NBA history. Again, spearheaded by Jamal Murray, but also Nikola Jokic really stepping up in that series. Um, unfortunately, the conference finals was a step too far as they lost in five games against the eventual champions, Lakers, but definitely a great run for this team that is still a young team, and they're going to be hoping they can build from that this season. So in the NBA draft, they drafted RJ Hampton, um, and then in free agency, you could say they got a bit worse. They lost Jeremy, Jeremy Grant, um, Plumlee, and Torrey Craig, so... I think out of the three, Jeremy Grant is the biggest loss, as he was a really good wing player and a good d defender for them. And then obviously Pl Plumley was a really good backup center who could not only score a bit and rebound, but he was also a really good passer and sort of gave them that, them that replacement for, for Jokic off the bench. But he's now with the Pistons. Um, but they did re-sign Paul Millsap to a one-year $10 million deal. That's all right. And they signed Jamichael Green from the Clippers. So if we look at a, a projected starting lineup, um, Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will Barton, Michael Porter Jr., and Nikola Jokic. So as I said with Jamal Murray, one of the breakout stars of the bubble, over the whole regular season, he averaged about 19.5 points per game. But in the bubble, I think it was like, 26 points a game so really took a step up and this season Nuggets fans will be hoping that he can do that for the whole season and just be more consistent with his great performances but definitely the an optimal modern lead guard lead guard he can play make a little bit um great shot creator great shot maker and I think he fits really well with Jokic and the Nuggets so Nuggets fans will be hoping he can keep up his bubble form for the regular season and into the playoffs next season. Um, Gary ha Harris, definitely a player that has taken a step back in recent times, um, was once viewed as like a great young defender and just a really positive asset. Um, but now, after only 10 points a game last season, 33% from three, that's really not great. He still is a good defender, but Nuggets fans will be hoping that he can bounce back this season. Um, Will Barton. Will Barton wasn't, wasn't even there in the bubble, so that's something that they're going to be able to add to the, their team this season. And Will Barton is a really good player. Averaged about 15 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Good shooter, pretty good defender. Really good player and a player that I'm a fan of, so hopefully he can really help them out and sort of fill the void that Jeremy Grant has left. A small forward and in power forward they could play Paul Millsap but I'm going with Michael Porter Jr. Um, another player that really stepped up for them in the bubble um, only averaged about 10 points on the season but there's there's definitely signs that he can be a really good offensive player just with his shooting and his shot making ability and also he's a really good cutter and when you have a player that Jokic with like Jokic who can find you if you're cutting who is that hub of the offense he's a player Michael Porter Jr. is a player that really complements Jokic well offensively. And that shows that he can really be a really good scorer in this league and maybe um, average like 20 points a game even this season coming up. Um, one thing with Porter Jr. is he does not know what he's doing on defense. Like he has the tools, he's long and athletic, but he, he just doesn't know where to be and he's just overall not a really good defender. And then the main man, Nikola Jokic, um, played, just played really well in the bubble. And he, he's one of the 
funnest players to watch. Like, I love watching Jokic, just a big guy who can pass the ball like he can. Like, just one of the best passers in the NBA at seven feet tall. Um, Average 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. Uh, I never think... I don't think Jokic will ever be, like, a huge scorer. Like, I think around 20 points... I think I'd say like 24 points a game is probably a ceiling, to be honest. But that's not really what he brings. He he's also a really good rebounder, and obviously the playmaking and being that hub of the offense, passing out of the post, scoring in the post, and then defensively, he's not as bad a defender as people think. Like he's not a great defender, but he's big and he can put his hands up and he has good hands. So, not a great defender, but not a terrible defender. And then we get to the bench, which is a bit more suspect. Um, RJ Hampton, the rookie. They also have Monte Morris, who is one of the best bench players in the NBA. Just a point guard who can really do it all. Everything you want to have a backup point guard. Shooting, um, shot creation, can do a bit of playmaking, good ball handler. I, I'm a real big fan of Monte Morris. Um, so hopefully he can continue to play well for them. And then... At wing depth, is a bit shaky. Um, they have P.J. Dozier, and then they have a Bull Bull. I don't really know what position Bull Bull is. Like, you could say he's a small forward. You could say he's a center. We really don't know. But hopefully he gets a few more minutes this season cause to, to really show how good he can be. Because we saw him a bit in those scrimmages where he looked really good, and then we didn't really see much more of him. So maybe with Grant leaving and their being a bit more minutes available he can play a bit more and we can really see how good he is because he has just crazy potential and then Paul Millsap um, declining but still a good, good player really motivated that comeback against the Clippers average about 10 and 5 that sort of thing but really good glue guy and seems like a good guy to have on your team and that backup center um, Jamichael Green um, I really like Jermichael Green because he can stretch the floor a bit and still be a good defender and like a physical player. But um, I think he'll, he he's an underrated pickup for the Nuggets. Um, averaged about seven points, six boards, can shoot the three a bit, just that sort of thing. He won't get too many minutes, but can definitely excel in his role. So for the strength of this team, it's certainly offensively. Just I I think they're just great on everything on offense. They're a great passing team with Jokic and Murray and Barton. Um, they're a great movement team with Michael Board Jr. cutting off the ball and Gary Harris and Jamal Murray getting open for threes. Um, a pretty good shooting team. Murray's a good shooter. Barton's a good shooter. Porter Jr. is a good shooter. Jokic is a, I'd say, like a above average shooter for a center. And then if Gary Harris can get back to where he was a couple of years ago, he was a good shooter back then. Well, no. Oh, yeah, pretty average to good, but now he's a bit below average. But if he can step up and start hitting his threes again, that would be really helpful. Also, this team seemed to have really good chemistry, obviously coming back from 3-1 down. Um, that's huge. So there's a real chemistry and camaraderie about this team. And Michael Malone's a really good coach. And then... Um, they, they could still develop, and they still have those exciting young players in Porter Jr. and Bull Bull, and Murray might take another leap this season. So a lot to be optimistic about. Um, on the negative side, um, they're not a great defensive team. I would say the only really plus defender in their starting lap is Gary Harris, and then Barton's a decent defender, and Millsap's a decent defender. But Porter Jr. is below average. Jokic is average. Murray is like average to below average, so it really depends on just how good they are defensively because obviously they're going to be a good offense, one of the top 10 offenses, but we'll see how good their defense is. Um, another thing is the West is really tough, and you just wonder with the Lakers and the Clippers, I think the Blazers are going to be good this year. Plenty of really good teams in the West, so... We'll see where the, how the Nuggets fit among them. And something else that's a bit worrying is their depth. I mean, they have Monte Morris, who's a really good bench player, but on the wings, like backup shooting guard, small forward, they're a bit lacking, obviously, with Jeremy Grant leaving. So 
we'll see what happens there. Maybe they'll make a trade or something like that, or they'll just tough it out. Um, where I think they can finish, I mean, I could see them being as high as maybe the two seed or so. Maybe they could even be the one seed. Obviously, playing at home in Denver is a big advantage for them, so we'll see. But I'm going to say losing Der- Jeremy Grant hurts. Plum- losing Plumley also hurts. Sure, I think Murray and Porter Jr. can step up a bit, but I'm going to say they're going to be the fourth seed in the West. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.